create some 3D designs in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. We will start by importing just an outline design. This is just a little dinosaur I drew on my iPad and then I uploaded it and traced it. So it is an SVG file. If you upload a PNG file or a JPEG file, you will need to trace this before you start and turn it into a vector file. This one is already a vector file, so we can use it as it is. So first we are going to make a copy of this design. And I'm just holding down the option key. I think for Windows, you would hold down Alt key and then you just drag and it will create a copy. Or you can right click and select duplicate and make a copy that way. And now on this copy that we made, right click and select release compound path. <laughs> Once your compound path has been released, Go in and just grab the outline. You may have to zoom in to get just the outline or else you may be clicking on the pieces inside. But once you've selected the outline, just drag the solid piece to the side. Okay, we have our outline and we have our pieces and then we have a solid piece. So now we're going to choose the colors for this dinosaur. Just select the pieces that you would like to be a certain color, such as the body. I am going to group all of that together by right clicking and select group. And then I'm going to the color fill panel and selecting a green color. And then I will select his belly pieces and just click on each of those and then right click and select group and then choose a color for those. And I think I will do the eye piece the same as the belly. So let's group that together and let's change the color. And then the teeth, just select all of those and then the fingernails and the toenails. All of those, I will make them the same color. So right click and group. And then I'm going to make them just a light gray color so we can see them. I'll keep his eye black. And now we need to create the layers. So to create the layers, just click on your solid piece and then go to the offset panel and click offset. Now I already have this set at 0.1 inches. If yours is not at 0.1, you can change it here by scrolling up or down. 0.1 inches is usually a good little outline. So let's count how many colors we have over here in our colored up dinosaur. We have green, which is one, yellow, two, gray, three, and black, four. So we need to create four layers. So after we click apply, just click offset again and apply, offset again and apply, and offset one more time and apply. And now we have one, two, three, four layers. So we can delete this middle layer and then you just choose the layer colors according to your pieces over here. I, I usually like to start with the more complicated pieces so I will probably start with the gray. Let's go to the color panel and choose gray for that one and then click the next layer and I am doing yellow for the next layer. And then the next one, I am going to choose black. And the last one, I am choosing green. And now if you want to remove that line, we can just take that off by clicking on the line style panel and the transparent button. 
Okay, let's bring this down here where we can see it a little better. Now go to your outline and right click it and bring to front. And let's get that lined up on our little stack of layers here. Okay, so we are starting with the gray layer. So what I like to do is I just delete the gray pieces because I don't need those. I just need to cut out everything else. Then let's select all of the remaining pieces and make a copy of that. And now select these pieces, right click and make a compound path. And then let's go ahead and fill that color. You can fill it with any color. It's just to help you see it better. Let's zoom in a little bit and make sure we get this lined up. And that looks good. Now select the pieces in the gray layer and go to your modify panel and click subtract. And that cuts out everything except these gray pieces. So now we are on the yellow layer. So delete the yellow layer. Then select the remaining pieces and make a copy. And then right click and make a compound path. And then place this over on your stack of layers. Zoom in and just adjust this to where it lines up. There we go. So now click on, so now you have the pieces selected and you need to select the yellow layer. Go to your modify panel and subtract. And then now we are on the black layer. Delete the black piece and then just bring this green piece over and get it lined up. And then select the green pieces and the black layer and subtract. And now you have your dinosaur. And let me show you what all of his layers look like. So we can take the top layer and then you have the second layer and the third layer the fourth layer and the fifth layer. And you can just cut those out of cardstock or you can even use this for a laser cutting machine to make a stacked 3D type of design. And that is how we make stacked 3D layer designs in Silhouette Studio Business Edition.